week eight, I believe, of our uh, project, our oyster raising oysters for the Restore Our Shores Foundation, Brevard County Zoo, to eventually be put on artificial reefs out in the Indian River Lagoon to improve the water quality of the river. Yeah. yeah. And so today we're gonna to be doing a couple things. She's carrying a pole right there. That, that's actually for our clams. For uh, our clam uh, nets. Yeah, that we'll be, yeah. Into the ground of the lagoon. Yep, so we'll be doing that uh, separately. Uh, we're uh -huh. just gonna do the oysters right now. Um, we do have, what are we doing today with the oysters? We have to- um, I'm redistributing them so that we have even amounts in each cage because right. we haven't done that yet. Uh, they're getting too big. Some of them are getting too big for the cages. Right, yeah, usually when you join the program, you get two cages of oysters, but we ended up with six. Uh, and some of them have way more oysters in them than, than need to be, uh, and others are kind of empty. One, one cage didn't even, the oysters didn't even work really for us. I don't know what happened with that one. And so. moving them around, like, keeps them from sticking together, and, like, we have fallout from the oysters yeah. when, we, when they are stuck together, and then you pull them apart and lose, like, a little oyster, I think. When yeah, we do them, every once in a while. Part. Yep, yep. So we're going to do that. We're also going to pull them out like we do every week to mimic a low tide and we'll clean them off and try and get all the little predators that might be in there out of the cages. Um, we always have the camera running right now because sometimes we sneak up on cool stuff when we get down here. Something's hiding under the dock or something like that. I don't think we're going to be able to see today. Water looks kind of cloudy. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's not too bad. It is wavy. It's a windy day. It wasn't that windy up by the house. Oh, there's some big fish right there. Did you see them? Where'd they go? I couldn't tell what they were. They just swam under the dock. All right. So I got my gloves here and I got my implement. Here's our clam beds right here. So the, this is what will have to be uh, what we'll tend to in a little bit, but we're just gonna do the oysters right now. Um, I'm gonna hand you the camera. Okay. And uh, we're gonna pull I'll these up. Watch down there, there might be some blue crabs. Yeah, we're gonna pull these up one by one and we'll see if we can catch any predators on them before they, before we get them up. Sometimes they scurry away. We got crabs, there's some little fish that get in there sometimes. Sheep's head. Yeah. Whoa, and they're getting heavy. Hold oh, there's tons of sheep's head in here. Look at sheep, yeah. baby sheep's head right there. Yeah, you can see them right there. See them? Oh, yeah. Well, baby sheep's head. There's two of them. I there's saw. one right there. Yeah. There's one right around there. Get him out of there. There, oh, it goes. there he goes. Yeah. Any other predators? That was a little, tiny like, little one. Little, uh, that guy looks like he might like Little lobster. Come on, little guy. All right, I'm going to shake this off. Now I'm going to put this back down and try and shake off some of the. Silt. And then we'll also hose them down. These look pretty clean, actually. They look good. That really speeds up the rinsing process and probably is better in the long run. The water in the right. lagoon is probably better for them. Number one. Awesome. You ready? Yeah. yeah. This one, there's nothing on it. Two. This one doesn't have quite as many. You got any predators in here? Didn't find any down there. No. All right, well, that's good. That is good. Oh, there's one. What? Oh, yeah, a little, what is that? It looks like a uh, little roly-poly. A sea roly-poly. A sea roly-poly? River roly-poly. back in. Oh, there's a little, what is that? Is that a, uh, I don't know. Fish of some sort. Is it a uh, toadfish? Maybe a baby. There's another tiny little crab. There's another tiny little crab. Come on, buddy, I'm trying to help you. Okay. There's lots of little tiny crabs. Yeah, there is. Right. Tiny, tiny ones. Look, 
big fish oh. all over it. You see them all? Oh. Are those catfish? I look like catfish. Oh, pull it up quick. Holy cow, oh. look at them all. Okay, let's just take a moment to look yeah, at them. Yeah, let's see if I can get how close I can get them to the surface. Oh, cool. That was oh, cool. Wow. They were like getting the, they were getting the look, predators. Look how dirty these are. Oh, look, are. sea squirts. Yeah. Yeah, this one does seem to have a lot yeah, of sea squirts so on it. This dirty. Oh. Yeah, I told you last time we did this, I found the other side of the dock. Maybe because the sun comes up over this way. I don't know. Look, you like can see more the stuff mud grows. coming off of it and stuff. Too. Yeah. Maybe we should hang them all off the other side. Yeah, I think we should move this one with the other ones yeah. off. Because that one's considerably it's dirtier. Like this, yeah. And now look. So we're, we're changing that this week for sure. We've got an experiment. Look, they're still in the exact same place except on the opposite side. I think this is our dud bin right here. Yeah, there's like nothing in it. Yeah. Oh, wow. But it's dirty too. Holy cow. It's dirty. Maybe it's maybe just the deeper part of out. the... Yeah, maybe it is. We just need to put it in a shallower area. Yeah. But it was cool that those fish were all around there. So many oysters. So we're gonna put all the overloaded ones in here for yep. the most part. Yep. There's not even much on these that I kept in here, but there was one or two. Okay, this is the other side of the dock. This one's pretty dirty too. Whoa, this one is super heavy. Oh, there's, there's, a, oh, there's a big fish. Yeah. Alright, watch out. Oh, it's so heavy. This is the heaviest one. See, they're already, look, they're already almost yeah, they're too big full. for this a This cage is almost full. Yeah. And we're not even like, we're probably what, halfway done with the program? Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, look at all the sea squirts. Yeah. We'll have to take these out and rip all these off. Yeah. We'll take oh, them all oh, out. Don't scare me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think a sea squirt was coming to get me? I thought something was coming to get me out of the cage. All right, I'm going to rinse this one off. And then we'll pull back out. That's our most full one. That one and the first one. First one, I'd say, has been doing the best. Right? It has a ton. Oh, man, yeah. Holy cow. Alright. This one seems to be doing pretty good too. The sea squirts don't hurt it. They're just taking yeah. up space, you know? It's just dirty. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna... Yeah, now we'll uh, hose them all down real good. Where, can you got, grab my scraper tool, bud? Sure. That red tool down there. So what we'll do is uh, just kind of hose them all off real good. Um, yeah, here we go. The cage let's, is actually. Let's pull them out and put them in the. Let's take. Let's do this one first. Yeah, I think what we're what we'll do is let me hose them all down real quick. Okay. And then we'll get back with everybody to um, switch them around in the cages and kind of make the cages more even. Because I mean, yeah. you can see that one's empty. This, this one's, one's empty. This that one's, one's almost full. Cool. Yeah, yeah bulging, empty, empty, so. empty, bulging. There's three that yeah. could use some. And I believe that this one and this one was how they were supposed to be looking. They should look like this one and that one because yeah. that's how my first ones were given to me. Yeah. So we should try to match them all yeah. the best we can to that. Yeah. All right, well, uh, this is kind of boring just watching me scrub or soak these down. So I'm going to just soak all these down real quick and then we'll get back with everybody when we start taking them out. We can see. What they there's look any like other up predators close in to. there, we can get rid of some sea squirts and, you know, cool. get them all. All right, Alrighty. I'll get to it. Okay, so we're pretty much done. They're, they're finishing up with the, the rinsing. I want to show everybody here how, just how dirty these cages in the deeper water look. I mean, we got them pretty clean. You can see all the stuff all over the, the dock too. We got them pretty clean, but the cages as we move into the shallower water are a lot cleaner. I mean, the mesh is almost, it almost looks new. So I think we're definitely, we're definitely going to move those three uh, yeah. that are in the deeper water. Yeah. Like we were talking about, if you think about it, usually oysters grow in, shallow. in shallower water, so. Because that's where they're left out yeah. in the air. Right, at, yeah. at low tide and stuff, yeah. So, and then you can also see like this cage right here is almost full and this one isn't. So we're gonna have to, um, you know, move some of these oysters around. That cage is, I mean, that one and the one at the end are like just packed full. Yeah, so, this one's pretty, pretty full. Yeah, it is. All right, I think that's good. Uh, yeah. Let's cut the hose off and um, start, uh, I'd say let's move these three cages. Okay. Yeah. Um, here, do you want to take this? Sure. Take the camera? I'm gonna put this. Yeah, just put it down. Maybe, there you go. What's on? Right. I'm going to move these three cages up here. Yeah. Okay. They're just getting so dirty here. We're on week eight now. 
and it's like this every week. So, I mean, you know, you gotta change something. Yeah. What is it? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. So we gotta change something. Actually, may, probably make it easier to take care of them all too. They're all be right. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that guy. I bet he's a parasite of some kind. Don't let him bite you. See? Oh yeah. He's a blood sucker. That one is just like, that was the one with all the fish on it. This is the heavy one. No, I think, was this one the one yeah. with all the fish on it? Uh, yeah. no, it was the, one, the other one before it. Right. This one's new home. We don't want them to knock against each other, so they gotta be spaced out. Yeah, we like don't want them to not, We wanted them to be high up enough not to ruin these beds. Yep. So we might have to space them out a little different than how we have them right now. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, put some of these this traps. I mean, this cage is basically. Most overcrowded one right here. So this oh, is a good let's example. Let's see one of those. Yeah, this is a good example. They started out, they seeded them on an old spent oyster shell, and this is what it's turned into. It's pretty amazing. It eight is weeks. amazing. Well, eight weeks we've had them. Then it was another. I think it was another month that yeah. they they waited before they gave them to us. All right, it's awesome. Super cool. All right, so we're gonna put some of those. In here. Populate this one a little bit. Yeah. If I see any bad sea sports on them, I'll remove them. Sea sports are cool. There might be some predators in the middle of all this, too. Could be, yeah. So it's good that we're moving them around, I think. Yeah, I think that one's a little over full, though. Oh, you think? Yeah. Okay. So I'll take a couple out of this one, too. Uh -huh. And I think that one needs, that second one needs to be moved into the first one. Moved into the, these two. Yeah. Over here. That one will got one seat. That, that oyster's lucky he, it, he got a plant with him. This one's getting to be kind of full now. Yeah. Here, I got a few here. Say that's it for this range. Okay. This one looks like... I think we can add some to yeah. those, to the first and the third one. Yeah. this one because it's still heavy. That's about, yeah. that's about right. I think maybe one more out of this one, this big one right here. Yeah. 
There's other little, probably microscopic predators and stuff to all in these. And worms, It'll like die out. And yeah. And It'll die out by sitting on the dock. So, yeah. Um, so that's what we'll do. We'll come back, I don't know what time it is now, like almost 11. So we'll come back after dinner tonight. And, uh -huh. um, Pop them back and, in. Yeah, except for now, we're going to have them in shallower water. So we'll, we'll hopefully, our experimental work, and they'll be a lot cleaner. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, and like I said, we're going to do this later, too. And we'll do a little video on this. And we also have some footage from when the team from uh, Restore Our Shores came to install the clam bed. So uh, we'll put that in that video. Um, yeah. Check back. It's all exciting stuff. If, if anybody has any questions or comments about our little operation here or about the Restore Our Shores program, just post down below. Until next time, everybody out there, take care. Bye. Bye.